Wow, I love how subtle your beat is. like to see um, the looks that are going to be on the carpet so I can try to see what I can get made in my size. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big pattern right there. Shut up, bitch. And look at this look. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, what? Look at that look. Bitch, my look, you, you tried to say that this, this is, look what, Dolce and, you said this is Gucci. This is Gucci. Bitch, Gucci, no. Gu Gucci who? This is Gucci. This is Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty coochie. Ooh, uh, Cheap shut coochie. up, bitch. You smell like dirty coochie. Bitch, you smell like no. dirty coochie. Stop. Where is Raven and Raja? Valentina. Oh, that Ooh. one. <laughs> um, well, I mean, what would it be? There really is. Well, she, I recently said something about her just being unprofessional. Um, but I've come to realize, once you say that, that everyone claims, you know, well, you're a bitch, you're ugly, you're hateful. I'm like, no, I'm just being honest. Like, I didn't say she was an ugly girl. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. She's pretty in pictures. But now I think what's happening with drag races, a lot of the girls that go on, are these Instagram beauties. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful. You know, they have great looks, they have great style, they got great faces, and then all of a sudden they get on the show and there's just nothing else, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And when you say that Valentina's great from her season, that just basically says that everybody else was really, really bad then. <laughs> so it is what it is. You know? I like it. I love the color choice. I love what, what's <laughs> happening. Oh, wow, that makeup. She's come a long way, hasn't she? Yeah. This is a few years ago. But, oof. It's real ironic when you walk into All Stars in ninth place, sharing the place as the lowest placing queen on the season with me. And then you walk in and all your achievements are out of drag. And then you sit there and say, you're not on the same level. Well, you know what, baby? I agree with you. You're not on the same level. And you spoke a very true statement. And I'm happy that out of all the lies you told this season, you said something real. So with that, I applaud you, Mill. I deeply applaud you. Do you, do you think she's skim, almond, soy? I don't give a I'm skinnier and thinner and more beautiful. And I will always have more estrogen running in my blood because I was born with two X chromosomes. I don't have an Adam's apple. You could never clock me, darling. So take your ponytail and wind it back up into that little black box and use that top wig to cover your face. Because your mother on this evening, you look like Aquaria on testosterone, darling. So walk back off the runway and walk back into the work room and sign that mirror. People say Bianca Del Rio and I are the same, but the thing is she won Drag Race and sometimes I tell new jokes. Mrs. Cashew Davis. She's a man in a dress. Those shoulders. Ah, oh, give me a drink. Oh. I don't think that's Mrs. Kosh Davis having a stroke. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome next to the stage someone who has many, many talents, but of all of the wonderful talents that she has, her number one talent is being 100% completely and utterly ratchet. Give it up for Jiggly Caliente, everybody. Uh-huh. Finger waves. Yeah, and like I said, hair slicked back, I think it's a little boring. Oh. Yeah, especially with the middle part. <laughs> oh. And your cheap Claire's little. Girl, you know what? You're sweating a little bit. Can we get a napkin? <laughs> I'm sweating because I'm big. Perspiring. I'm perspiring because I'm in the lights. Kind of like we're a big family, you know? It's, it's, when you go to the reunion, you talk to some people, and you disregard others. <laughs> Her hair is so big, her teeth are so beautiful now. 
God, Lady Bunny lost a lot of weight and her makeup she is on fleek. Mm. Terrible. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, where do you look? I think she's going to the award show, but she's not the actual star that gets to be on the red carpet. She's the one who's like holding the clipboard. Like, what's your name again? Uh, Lindsay Lohan is coming. Camera's ready. Thank you, Lindsay. You may go now. Remember that time that Jinx Monsoon won RuPaul's Drag Race? Me neither. <laughs> I love you, Jinx Monsoon, but your f***ing wigs look like they've been combed by a blender. <laughs> Tyra Sanchez wanted to be here tonight, but she was very busy with other appearances. Mostly the magistrate's office, a court-appointed community service obligation, and a paternity test on Maury Povich. <laughs> Wait, wait, everybody, take this in. Mimi's funny for once. This is good! Who can forget the dramatic moment on season six when Trinity Bonet revealed that she'd been tested and was HIV positive? Not to be outdone, Laganja Estranja revealed that she too had been tested and does not have a brain. <laughs> Hello, I'm Courtney. Um, I think I'm a Spice Girl. Hello. <laughs> Their career ended too. Listen, I, I said career, like you have one. So me, shut it. My grandmother, who lived right next door to us, would always make me shepherd costumes, and I'd just like prance around her living room in these shepherd costumes. So cool. Awesome. Oh my god, little Danny Donegan. Um, and so that's where fashion happened for me. <laughs> um, no, but you then, don't say. Yeah. <laughs> cha 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 cha. Shing! Whatever. But what I love about Adore is she's very consistent. She's very cool. Party, pizza. I don't want to be glamorous. I'm punk. I'm fun. Which basically means she doesn't wash her drag. <laughs> Saying it's drag would mean it's a costume off the rack purchases for a 13 year old girl that she wears. And recently she was standing next to me and I'm like, oh my god, did you open up a bag of chips? She's like, no. I said, oh, you took off your shoes. Same smell. So what you realize? Listen, her feet say hello to you before she does. Trust me. And if you're gonna go out tonight, she's, she's all about the young boys, so be careful. If you're 12 years Look at the, this little silly fag. It's like you just found out you're going to Rome to meet a priest. Ah. And then there is also a reference to the Sylvester Stallone movie Cliffhanger with those toes. Which, <laughs> you know, that's probably, she probably took a f***ing like CD case and stuck it right between her duct tape. <gasps> So that when you she do? taped it, yeah. So then, then that way it just spreads it out and you just have gap, it fall into the gap. That's gap. You heard it here first, a CD case. CD case. What is a CD, mommy? Or you could use an iPod Nano. <laughs> if you want a little tiny one, use That's an right iPod me. Touch for a nice, <laughs> thick, meaty <laughs> notch. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard, but whatever. <laughs> We do a lot of like trying to reinvent the wheel around the holidays, but what if someone just came out and gave you a truly beautiful, truly earnest performance? What if that happened? What if they were being serious for a goddamn second? What would happen to you then? Do you think you'd explode? Do you think, do you think the whole world would start crumbling, crumbling down? Or do you think Katya just might convince you that an old Good, and I'm talking about her, not the song she's gonna perform. The look where she was a poop emoji. This is Raja. <laughs> yeah, I have with two. three thousand percent this look. I wish it was in a more flattering color because I'm not a fan of brown, but I know that you. I love brown. Boots the house brown. <laughs> Raven, your denim was den. Um. <laughs> I remember one time um, someone went to, I went to go tag my own photo, and you know, can you guess who you are? And it guessed me as Bianca Del Rio. Oh! So my, my own MacBook Pro read me for, for a film. Fun. She couldn't check it on her phone because that's prepaid. Uh -huh.